Welcome back. This is Dan Heavey with CF Ninja Hacks. And today we're going to answer a question that somebody had in the ClickFunnels official group. And that is, is how can you embed a short video like you see here on my screen into your ClickFunnels page? Because if you put in the link that ClickFunnels gives you right here, I'm sorry, that YouTube gives you right here. If we drop that in and then let's click on save and let's preview this page. Let's see what it looks like. It should not work. At least that's what everybody was saying. Let me see here. We got an error right there. So what we have to do is we have to look at the format. And you see we got the format here. Let me just drop it in this notepad. And right here, let me make this a little bit wider so it's all on one line. You can see here it says shorts and then has another slash and then the video, um, the actual ID for that particular video. So let's look at what a normal video would look like or the normal link would look like. Let's copy that out of there and let's hit the carriage return there twice. And we're going to see here a bit of a difference here. And the difference is this part right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy that bit out of there. We're going to take off the shorts and the trailing slash afterwards. And we are going to paste this in. Now let's grab a hold of this link right there. Go into ClickFunnels, paste it in. And this works equally well for 1.0 as well. You just paste it right in there. And we immediately see the cute kitten video pop up on our screen. And now let's come over here and we will click on the there we go and here we are and there is our cute kitty video which doesn't everybody want that on their funnel page Okay, so I got done shooting the video and I realized I had a couple of problems right away. The first one is because you uh, took a short, which is a vertical uh, video, and turned it into basically a horizontal video, we got an issue with what it's going to look like. It's going to put these boxes on either side. I forget exactly what those boxes are called. They actually have a name for them. Uh, but it's going to put that on either side. And you might say to yourself, well, I don't like that. So what we're going to do is we're going to apply a little bit of CSS. And you see here I I did a few changes here I, I duplicated the videos just to show you a couple things here so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna come into this element and we I'm sorry not into that element into this here element and we're going to click on the code and what I did is there was a little thing down here that just said uh, what does it say basically uh, to create a, an ID selector for it and you click on that it's a little blue link when you click on that it does this well in fact let's just um, Let's just do this. Let's delete that out of there. There we go. Generate ID is what it says. So you do that. And then you would click on this to copy it. And then we're going to come over here and we're going to paste this in. So that is the ID that signifies this particular image right here. Well, then I had to go and take a look at the code. And I said to myself, okay, I know what I want to do is I want to change the aspect ratio of this. And I Googled it. And it said that the aspect ratio of these types of videos is 916. Well, then the next thing I had to figure out is, okay, great. Where do I put that CSS declaration because I need to know what the rest of the selector is up here. So what I did is I went into the code and what we're going to do is we're just going to inspect this real quick and we're going to click on this video over here because obviously I already applied it to these over here and you see how nice that looks. Um, so we came in here and where I figured it out is right here the fluid width wrapper, a uh, video wrapper. So here is that ID that we just created is on this element right up here. And then we, um, it's not turned on on this one. In fact, let me just show you on the other one where that ID is. So the ID is right here is the ID. And then we come down to the fluid width video wrapper right there. And you can see I put in the aspect ratio of 916. So again, that's what it should look like right here. Make sure you put a space in between and a period in front of the word fluid. And then it will give us this really nice nine by 16. So these videos are 16 by nine probably. This is now nine by 16. Well, you see what it did though, as soon as I did that, it made it ginormous because it wants to take up the entirety of the space in here. So we can do a couple of different things. The simplest thing is to just give it less space to be in. So in this case here, 
I have this middle column taking up six of the bootstrap rows, and then it would be uh, three on either side because there's 12 total bootstrap rows in here. And so we got six in the middle and three on either side. So if I were to make this even bigger like this, make it go out there, we can save this and then we can reload this page. It should make the one in the middle even bigger. Now you just saw another problem that we have here is that as the page loads, it wants to show the videos in their original format before we change them. And so there's a lot of bebopping around on the page and we'll take care of that in a minute too. So now this video is getting really huge in the middle. So the whole thing is you have to use a proper size on the um, on, on the width of your row so probably the best case here you'd want to have like four four column row right here for each of these to be put into so let's actually just put in a four column row real quick and then let's just clone this little guy here a couple of times and we'll drag it down oops not working come on there we go drag that down in there and then let's save it and we'll reload the page. Now, we can start messing around with the width of things, uh, but I think this should work just fine. Let me see here. So yeah, you put four of these side by each right there, and I think that's gonna be a good size. Now, again, like I started to say, we can uh, mess around with the size here some, but it, I couldn't really find any decent result on it. Was This is where I was doing it. No, actually it was right here. You can do it here. So we can come in here and we start messing around with these sizes. And you see it's going to change things. Um, right there. Let me scroll back down on the page a little bit. But it's also leaving us, I put a blue background on this column and then darker blue on the outside just so we could see what it was looking like. And so that didn't really seem to be the most effective way to do it. Let me get these set back to 100 here real quick. And now, so we can go up here, back up to our fluid with video wrapper right there. And we can come down to, where was it here? Here is the width here. So we can change the width there. And you can see as we do that, it gets smaller. So the video wrapper itself is getting smaller. And they're, they're all resizing. You would have to uh, specify exactly which one. This is doing all of the fluid width video wrappers, not just the one that we were looking at. So in fact, if I wanted to do just the one, what we would have to do here is, let's go here. I'd have to come up here. We would say width of 100% and then probably have to put in an important tag in there as well. And then now, as we change this one, it should well, it's still doing it. Oh, that's right. I have the same ID on both of these two elements here. Uh, so just be careful. If you put an ID onto something and then you copy it, that ID will be reflected on all the rest of them as well. So they're all resizing because all I did was copy it. But you see that you got that. So if you wanted to do it like this and put some, uh, show some of the uh, background from the column on there, you could certainly do that. And then what you could also do is come into the actual video element itself right inside of the sidebar. You could do this and we could do some uh, padding of top of let's say 10 pixels um, let's make that even a little bit more so you could do some padding top and bottom around there too and then put the background color of the column around it as well but now let's address that loading issue. Let me just show you what that is again here. Let's reload the page and so we're gonna have a loading issue right there so it's all bebopping around so what I thought well what we can do is we can come in here and we can do some sort of an animation now normally if I was writing the code for this I just do simply do a slide down and that would work good but um, there's a couple of different things here so let's just say we want to do it over half a second <clears throat> And then from here, let's just view the animation. So in this case here, it's sliding up from the bottom. There was another one here I saw, reveal, I think we could do that. And that one here, we got that coming down from the top, but it's got kind of a flash to it. So I don't think I like that one. What did I have here the first time, float in. So let's just uh, stick with float in on that. And now let's save it and let's see if we have enough of a delay set so that we don't see that bebopping around on the screen. So let's see here. Nope. 
definitely don't have that so let's change this out here let's make this like half a second on here 500 milliseconds is half a second let me just type it in be a lot easier and then let us save that and we'll do this and if you hear my cat crying in the background don't worry she's just fine and yeah, it's still not enough. We may have to delay this like an entire second. That's if this is going to work at all, because this may not work. We may actually have to use some JavaScript code in order to do a real actual delay on this and wait till the window is actually done loading, which is kind of a technical JavaScript term. Yeah, that's what it appears to me. So what we're gonna have to do here is actually do that with JavaScript, which um, just if we pause for a second, here let me just write that code real quick okay so what I did is I flopped these two uh, rows around here just to be able to give us a look at the better of the two and in fact let's go in here and what I had to do is I had to hide that section so let us unhide that section and in fact let's hide this row right there give us a more realistic example of what we're working on so we have that hid row and that row hidden and now what we're going to do is we're also going to hide this entire section because we don't want it showing until after everything is loaded properly on the page and then what I did is I just did a little bit of JavaScript code very simple line here all it says is so in between our script tags right there I can take out some of these spaces I don't need all these in here so between our script tags we just said here window on load function so when the page loads and is done loading, which means that all the images and everything have already been loaded to the page, then we want to do something. And so then I did the ID for that section, exactly how I showed how to do it earlier. And then all I say here is slide down over half a second. 500 milliseconds is half a second. So if we do that and we save our page and we come over here, and we will hit reload so you yeah, first is not there then it slides down very nicely and our two images pop in now they're still they're still kind of flashing there a little bit i think that's a function of youtube more than anything else because it has to load so much stuff into there and i tried putting in a longer delay and still every time it painted it onto the page like that it still had the exact same effect no matter what i did but in most cases i would guess these videos like this are not going to be above the fold anyway so you may not have to go through the trouble of sliding them down because they're going to be way down the page and so you don't care what they look like as they're loading because nobody's going to actually see them so probably 90 percent of the time you don't even have to go through this step right here you just do this little bit of css and make sure you put them into the properly sized columns and then everything should work out just fine